Skype. This is session four of Apigee Edge course for beginners. In this session, we will see in action how to verify access token. In our previous video session, we have seen how to generate access token with client credentials grant type. In case if you haven't watched it, I would strongly recommend you to watch before proceeding with this video. We have discussed that once we have access token generated from Apigee Edge after providing the credentials, then for the subsequent API calls, we can make use of this access token. And note that we need not to pass credentials on each and every subsequent request. So, how to access an endpoint by providing the access token. Also, how to verify whether the provided access token is valid or not. This is very, very important, right? Because we should not allow the request to the backend API when the request does not have the valid access token. Okay, let's see this in action. Login into RPG Edge UI. And click API proxies. Here we'll have all the API proxies which we have created. And if you could uh, see the proxy API proxy demo is the one which we have created and developing it in our course so far. So click on this proxy. So now basically what we want to achieve is we have to generate access token and we have to pass the access token to consume an API proxy endpoint. If the access token is valid, then we should get the response from the endpoint successfully. On the other hand, if the access token is invalid, then we should get the error. So let's see this in action. Now, if you could see in our API proxy, we have two endpoints. So one is default, which we have created in our first video session, and we have another endpoint to generate access token. So here, if you could see the first endpoint, default endpoint, let's try to invoke this endpoint and see what we get. So here we are getting the response as a low guest. So what we basically want to achieve is we want to access this endpoint only when the access token is valid. So how can we achieve this? Let's see this in action. Click develop tab. And this is the default endpoint. which we are trying to access. But for now, this does not have any uh, security checks. So that is why we are able to get this, uh, even though uh, when we pass no access tokens. So we'll have to uh, include the verify access token policy here in order to check that. So let's see how to add that in policy section. Click plus icon and add OAuth v2 policy and name it as OAuth iPhone v2 iPhone verify access token you can give any meaningful name you want click add so this will add the verify access token policy so this is the policy which we check whether the access token is valid or not from the request. So we'll have to attach this policy to our endpoint. So our endpoint is default endpoint. So whenever we make a call to this endpoint, free flow will get executed. So we'll have to check whether we have valid access token in the free flow itself. So in order to do that, I'm going to attach that verify access token policy in the preflow section. So let's do this. Under the request tab, add a step tag. And inside the step tag, add our policy. 
so our policy name is go auth iphone v2 iphone verify access token so i'm going to add this policy here so now we have attached auth v2 verify access token policy in the preflow of default proxy endpoint so with these changes let's go ahead and save this as a new revision so new revision is saved and go ahead and deploy the new revision i'm going to deploy it in test environment click deploy it is taking a moment please hang on okay now it is deployed revision 3 is deployed and now if you try to invoke this endpoint we should get an error if you could see this is invalid access token so when we pass the valid access token then only we will be able to invoke this endpoint so how to pass the access token in order to consume this endpoint successfully okay so we'll have to first generate the access token so we have seen in our previous video session how to generate generate access token using a client credentials grant type so i'm going to generate one access token now so i have generated one access token now if you could see this is our access token so copy this access token and we'll have to pass this access token in order to consume that default endpoint so how can we pass so we'll have to pass this as authorization header so i'm going to add authorization header and value we'll have to provide this is a bearer token so we'll have to append bearer before the access token to provide the error and now try to invoke this endpoint now we should be able to access this endpoint here we go see we are able to get the allow guest response from the api successfully and now if i am changing any value from here instead of k I am giving one. Let's see what happens. See, it says invalid access token. So, this is how we'll be able to verify the access token. In the next video session, we will see how to handle error and how to send custom error message to the client application. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.